Iran's army ground force has test-fired two long-range missiles guided by satellite during an annual defense exercise. The long-range and satellite-guided FAT-360 and Fajr-5 missiles were test-fired for the first time, 2nd Brigadier General Karim Chashak, the spokesman for the Ektidar 1401 exercise, said on September 9, according to the Arab news agency. He added that the FAT-360 fired from a six-barrel launcher and traveled at a speed of 4 Mach, which is four times the speed of sound. Iran unveiled the FAT-360 missile in a parade on Army Day in April. The Ektidar 1401 exercise of the Iranian Army's ground force was conducted in the area of Nazrabad in the central province of Isfahan on September 7 to 8. Infantry, armored, artillery, air force, drone, engineering, airborne, and electronic warfare units participated in the drills with the support of the aircraft of Iran's Army Air Force. The military drill aimed to evaluate and improve the level of combat readiness of Iran's army ground force in confronting the new threats. The ground force has brought different military equipment including drones, variants of tanks such as T-72s, Chieftain, homegrown carrier, as well as a surface-to-air missile systems. According to the commander of the Iranian Army's aviation, Yusef Gurbani, the self-defense system of aviation helicopters and the upgraded Shafak missile was successfully tested during the drill. The upgraded Shafak missile whose range has increased three times as compared to the previous figures, was fired from the Cobra helicopter and hit the target point. Aviation helicopters equipped with night vision were used on the battlefield for the first time in a completely offensive manner during a special operation and successfully carried out the night attack operation, Gurbani said. Speaking on the sidelines of the Ektidar 1401 on September 7, Major General Ghulam Ali Rashid, the commander of the IRGC's Qadam al Anbiya headquarters said that the Army's ground force maneuvers have been planned and carried out in accordance with future wars and predicted threats. On September 8, the Islamic Republic of Iran Army ground force has successfully performed armored operations and fired upgraded domestically developed missiles during massive military exercises in the central province of Isfahan. The exercises were carried out on Thursday in the presence of Chief of Staff of the Iranian Armed Forces Major General Mohammad Bakari, Commander of the Qadam al Anbiya Central Headquarters Major General Ghulam Ali Rashid, and Chief Commander of Iran Army Major General Abdulrahim Masavi. Military helicopters operated by the force also conducted heliborne operations during the two day drills, codenamed Editor, Authority, 1401, which are underway in the Nazrabid region of the province. Speaking on the sidelines of the drills, Bagheri hailed the airborne operations carried out by the ground forces helicopters, stating that the exercises showed the high preparedness of the helicopter unit of the ground force. Moreover, reconnaissance and surveillance missions were conducted by indigenous Mohajir 6 Ister unmanned aerial vehicles. Missile and artillery units of the Islamic Republic of Iran Army Ground Force also launched optimized and upgraded missiles as well as smart munitions against designated targets. Offensive and defensive electronic warfare tactics, parachute landing fall, airdrops and close air support, cause, actions are also scheduled to be practiced during the drills. Earlier, commander of the Iran Army Air Force Brigadier General Yusef Gurbani said that self-protection systems domestically developed to improve the safety level of the force's helicopters and upgraded Shafak, Twilight, missiles were successfully tested during Editor 1401 drills. He added that helicopters equipped with night vision devices, NVDs, were used for the first time in a completely offensive manner, and they successfully carried out a night combat operation. Helicopters equipped with self-protection systems also launched flares during a confrontation with man-portable rocket launchers. Gurbani also referred to the successful test of upgraded Shafak missiles and said the accuracy and range of the missiles have been significantly improved. 
they were fired from Bella 1 Super Cobra attack helicopters and could hit designated targets with pinpoint accuracy, the senior Iranian military figure said. The Iran Army Ground Force started the two-day Authority 1401 exercises on Wednesday. According to Rashid, the drills have been designed based on potential future wars and predicted threats. The military exercises involve infantry, armored, artillery, air force, drone, engineering, airborne and electronic warfare units, and with the support of air force planes, said General Karim Cheshak, the spokesman for the drills.